today, um, well, this is what I look like. You see that? That abomination is me. Me at 12 years old making a stupid video on my webcam and my stupid laptop microphone, but yeah. The point is, I've been doing YouTube for a little bit longer than this. Technically speaking, I started my channel on the 14th of May 2016, which by the time this video is uploaded will be on the exact same date eight years later. Basically speaking, I've been doing YouTube for about eight years. Now that I've realized I've wasted about eight years of my life doing content on YouTube, I've basically made this video to pay homage to the cringe that I have made. So sit back, relax, grab a beverage of your choosing, as we delve into the history that is this channel. This was where my channel started, when this channel was originally called XV King, where I sat down and just talked about stuff to a laptop camera. Since I didn't have an editing software at the time, I just sat down and just talked in front of a webcam for about a few minutes. I thought the videos were cool, and so did like three people. It wasn't until five months later that I finally got my first editing software, that being Videopad Video Editor. It was at this point that I had stopped making webcam related videos, and I moved on to YouTube poops using the poet Michael Rosen. Being 13 years old at this point, the humour is, well... Be like Jack. Fart. Grow plums. Let's just say it's seen better days. Three months later, and I have produced several YouTube poops that are pretty much way too vulgar to be on YouTube nowadays, and I discover how to put screenshots from Gary's mod onto Videopad, which brought around the end of the Michael Rosen YouTube poop era, and with it, the Gary's mod animation empire arose from its ruins. By this point, I was a massive fan of a game called Splatoon, and one fateful day on the 14th of January 2018, I happened upon the Splatoon Inklings in Gary's Mod. My creativity had been unleashed upon the planet, and I also figured out how to change the name of the channel. So by this point, XV King was a dead name. By this point, I was herefore known as Emerald Squid 1337, which would only last for a few months before I changed it again, this time to Atlas and Carrier. And then I changed it again. By this point, I couldn't settle down with a proper name. An idea would come into my head and I would change the channel to fit that idea. But then another one would come into my head a few months later, and then I would change it to that. By this point, I had changed the name so many times I forgot a few of them. And I even deleted a few of the videos because I saw them as not worth the trouble. So a few of my nostalgic videos, such as one called Andreas's Splatastic series, have been lost forever. The series only lives on in my memory. Throughout the history of my early animations, I had several different main characters. My first one was a character called Riesin, but then that evolved to a character called Andreas, thus leading to the Andreas' Splatastic series. Then there was his brother, called Atlas and Carrier, and then finally, Havoc Incarox. Havoc Incarox was made at my most edgiest, Depression had hit me like a truck, and I was looking for an outlet. So I made Havoc, an inkling whom the whole world had turned his back against. And he was only fighting to protect the people whom he loved the most. God, that was cringy as fuck. I wanted to stick with this character through thick and thin. So I made a series introducing this character and three of the Order characters in a series called Havoc and the Bloodhound Massacre. An unfinished internet miniseries where Havoc, Andreas, and Atlas take on a society where they basically just commit terrorist attacks. Andreas would be killed, and Atlas would have officially killed himself in a video that was basically teasing the finale, which never came around. Several unnecessary videos later, and Havoc undergoes a redesign. And then there's more unnecessary videos. And then Havoc in Karox goes through his final redesign. And then even more unnecessary videos. And then... News of a certain disease starts spreading around China. The world is thrust into the arms of an epidemic, and it hadn't been as bad since the 1918 Spanish flu. Wanting to cheer other people up during this desperate time, I continued with business as usual. I started practicing in my own spare time, and eventually I started to get fairly decent at animating. With my newfound skills, I made some fairly decent comedic animation, before resorting back to some edgy videos. 
Eventually, I would start to make another series called The Rise of Eptodyne, where a peaceful protest becomes increasingly violent until it goes into a full-blown civil war, where a rebel force emerges victorious, which turns out they were more evil than the actual government they were opposed to. Havoc and some newfound friends in a local academy would try to take down this proxy government, except there was only one combat scene and that was in the last episode. Eventually, I would increasingly fall into this habit of starting a series and then stopping it. Eventually, I would completely stop making a series in question because I was so scared of doing the exact same thing. However, as time moved on, the animation slowed down, I actually got the bug, there would be some family-related issues, and I would eventually have to move out. It was still business as usual, so I still made videos. However, they started to take on a little bit more of a political undergoing. By this point, my channel had its own alternate universe where there were basically different countries, all based around different things involving Splatoon. Each country having their own flag, national anthem, and different military strengths and weaknesses. Looking back at it now, all the flags and geographies were pretty damn impressive. It's something I genuinely miss doing, and I wish I could get back into it without it, you know, revolving around Splatoon. Seriously, I could go on and on and on about this whole thing, but we should probably continue. By this point, cracks were beginning to form in my resilience to continue making animations. I grew out of Splatoon and the community in which Gmod animations were usually created on, which is called Splatsource, started to take a turn for the worse. A majority of content creators started to like kids, like really, really like kids. So not wanting to associate myself with such people, I decided that now was a better time than ever to pack up my things and say my goodbyes. Looking back at my history now, it's pretty cringe. And truth be told, I couldn't really care less. I'm just glad I got out of it because an 18 year old making politically themed animations about a kid's game is pretty cringe, no doubt. So out went Havoc and Karox and in came Kaibutsu, which hopefully is here to stay. And that's it. That's the history of my entire channel. And I'm going to give a review of the history of my own channel and I'm going to give it a six out of 10. It's okay, but like, holy hell is it cringe. Roll the outro now, I don't want this video.